Welcome to The Miracle You, guiding you on the journey towards finding passion and purpose and how to discover, create, and live a life by your design. Whether your success has been plentiful or your missed opportunities have been overwhelming, we can help you become a more empowered, masterful person and show you how to share your gift with the world. It's time to inspire change from within with the host of The Miracle You, Vince Kramer. Hello, Imagination. I'm Vince Kramer, your host, and welcome to The Miracle You, where you learn about the magic of living your life by finding the example in real life. Many times in our lives, we start out with a project that we have a certain goal or a certain agenda around. And as that project grows and becomes more of its own entity, we learn that there's so much more to it. This podcast was one of those projects for me. As we step further and further into bringing the messages of Imagine Miracles and the messages of the guidance that's been provided to us to the imagination, we found that we were here to really help bring hope, to bring the possibilities to light for each and every one of us. And it was exciting to watch that project grow. And as we transition into our second 200 episodes, I can't wait to see where this project leads us. Thanks for being part of our journey for the first 200 episodes, and we can't wait to serve you moving forward. Hi, everyone. It's Mary, and today I'm with Vince, and we are so excited because this is our 200th episode. And this is a little behind the scenes conversation we're going to have with you. Welcome, Vince. It's so exciting to be the one welcoming you to your 200th podcast. Uh, I am so excited, Mary. It, you know, I, as you know, I don't sound the most excited ever, but This is four years of meeting with different people, bringing the message of Imagine Miracles to the world, and and hopefully truly making the difference that I'm meant to make. And I can tell you, you are. Before we get started, I want to just give anyone that's new to this podcast a little background on Vince. Kind of a cool story. I like to say he is an unsuspecting all-American man. His past, his background as an airline pilot, military veteran, and years of experience as a manager and trainer in a major airlines. And now, and I use the word unsuspectingly because that's exactly what happened to him. He was trucking along, being very successful, living a great life. And what do you know? His life changes dramatically, and that's a lot about in our book. You have to get our book, Awakening Through Moments of Choice, because we don't want to have spoilers here on this podcast, but his story is really well-written and well-detailed in that book. So that takes us to this unbelievable experience he had and many that followed that that gave him the opportunity to choose, we talk about moments of choice, to choose to become a transformation and purpose-driven growth coach and business owner. It's very exciting. And I think that there's so much to say about what this must have been like for you, Vince, to have such a traditional upbringing, traditional successful career. And now here you are the co-founder of Imagine Miracles and every day changing people's lives. How does it feel? You know, the interesting thing, Mary, is it's, it's a calling and each one of us have this calling. So I know deep down, everybody knows exactly what I'm saying here, but it was something that pulled me, pushed me, shoved me, kicked me. Um, Even when I I didn't want to step into 
following why I knew I was here, there there was always something to to take me to the next level or remind me that all my joy is going to come from really living who I am fully. So I think that's huge. And then as a co-founder of Imagine Miracles with you, at first everything was, okay, what's, what's the opportunity for us to get known? What's the opportunity for us to get seen? And then how can people learn more about us so they can they can trust us and there's so many things that happen in imagine miracles because of that definitely so here we are the 200th episode why did you start the miracle you podcast well really honestly i i just kind of shared that a little bit at the the podcast initially was how do I get known? How can I show the world what Imagine Miracles has to offer? And, and that was one of the driving forces. But then as I decided, okay, the miracle you, and, and we started out with uh, the big you, so like the Miracle University, because we wanted to help people learn the concepts that came to us and to me over the years as I was being called to be this transformational growth coach, mentor, leader, and and how to help people learn that exact information or at least have access to that information that I learned through those books or through the guidance that I was getting. And and then as I started to really put the podcast together, it turned into how can I show people that we all have wake up calls and when we listen to those wake up calls and we step fully into being what we're called to, how we can find our abundance, how we can find our success, how can we be more healthy? And that's what really then became the platform, if you will, for the Imagine Miracles episodes, especially the, the first 190 of them, was let me introduce you to someone who's had that wake-up call. And let me introduce you to the steps that they took and what they learned to then step more fully into their purpose. So it turned into a podcast of hope. It turned into a podcast of helping people see that you're not alone in these things that are happening to you, quote, quote, you believe are happening to you in your life. And that it's more of part of your calling to be more of who you are. And that's where the excitement came from. Over, over the years, I've met so many amazing people that have stories of, of how they had their wake up and the fact that they just didn't quit and followed through on that calling was huge. I love that. And I love having listened to all of those people share from their heart and share their ability to in many cases, overcome incredible obstacles because they knew, they knew they had to do it. It's, I think you've really brought a great service to many people that need to share and should be sharing. There, there were so many positive messages that came from each one of the episodes. And, and really, for, uh, for those of you that have listened to the podcast, or for those of you that are familiar with with Mary and I and Imagine Miracles, we, we truly believe in energy. We believe in the law of attraction. We believe that each one of us is here to make a difference in the world. And it's so obvious that these people who are making that difference or want to make even a bigger difference and have those wake-up calls it's obvious that we attracted them in to share their messages in a way that can make a difference to so many people. And, and the number of listeners have grown over the years. 
And each one of them I know are taking something away from each and every episode. There is no doubt. And you've had so much great feedback about your ability to ask questions. And, oh, you know, and a lot of people were really nervous about coming on and they would get off the uh, call with you and they'd be feel so good and feel like they had really been supported by you and got their message out. So my hat's off to you. You did a, a really, really great job. Thank you. And I'm dying to know, what are one or two of your favorite episodes? Oh, boy, I can't give you just one or two, Mary. Uh, first of all, every every episode was special. Every person that I got to meet was was someone that I, I know was supposed to be in our lives some way or the other. And although I've lost contact with many of them, the energetic connection will go on forever. Uh, I definitely love the first three uh, because those people supported us and me in getting the miracle you started. Uh, Andrea J. Lee, Louise Schwartzwalter, and Bob Uslander. Uh, the three of pop. The three of them were were so gracious in in being the first three guests, going through a time with me where I was just learning how to be a podcaster and and how to support my guest in a way that allowed them to get their information out. And then there were some people that I had on the podcast that were truly living on purpose and, and really making a difference in people's lives, like Mary Lou Kayser, Jennifer Royal, Trish Wilkerson, uh, Shauna Francesca. All of these people were living from that space of understanding what their true gifts are in the world and then bringing those gifts instead of trying to be someone else or show up in a way that they thought would make them successful or make them uh, stand out in the world. What they found was when they were themselves and lived from that place, that's where they were standing out in the world and that's where they were making a difference. And then I, I have to mention the, the two podcasts that they actually played their instruments for the imagination. And before I mention their names, we address the listeners of the Miracle You as the imagination, the group of people that are coming together in the community to create the life that they're meant to live as individuals, but also as, as a community. So that's why we call them the imagination. Uh, Colin McLeod and, and Bo Brandt, both of them played their instruments for us and showed us from the heart what it looks like to share your gift fully in a way that really makes a difference in everybody's life. So those are, those are just a few of the many that I absolutely love, Mary. That is so amazing. And I want to add that probably the one that touched my heart the most was the father and son that came on the podcast and that is worth listening to as well. But it's about this young man who came to his dad and said, the, to answer your question, dad, the business I want to start is to make socks. And it was just so sweet to hear the boy and hear the dad and the love and the commitment that the dad had. Great, great episode. And then the last one I want to mention really quickly is about two people who are running a, an amazing heart-centered multi-million dollar business and it's e-women network and they, they also are a husband and wife duo with recently their daughter and, that, and again that would be sandra yancey and kim yancey have been on the podcast and sandra came in with such beautiful advice about community and Kim was all about following promptings and finding joy in his life in the business. It was really a treat for me to hear both of them. The lovely part of, of all of that is uh, we, we had this opportunity to talk to so, so many amazing people, but in so many ways, you and I are drawn to couples who 
are are living their purpose together sharing sharing in a way that makes such a difference in the world it's amazing for me to to realize that there's couples out there that don't realize that they're here on this world together for a reason there's something so so important for for each of us to understand that we don't create these relationships haphazardly. It, it's they're meant to be part of our lives, and and I want to recognize you as part of the podcast world, part of the imagination world, part of the Imagine Miracles world for the gifts and talents that you bring and helping me live my purpose as an individual, but also being part of our purpose together. Oh, thank you, Vince. That was unexpected. Thank you so much. That's a great segue into the new addition or the twist to the podcast. Won't you share what it is and why you made it? Over the years, we've shared so many stories about uh, people's journeys. And there was a lot of people asking, well, it's great to know about these journeys, but how can we get on that path ourselves? How can we uncover more of, of who we are? And, you know, Vince, you're, you're bringing in all this information and all this great guidance from these people. But what do you have to say? What's Imagine Miracles about? Give us a little bit more on how we can find our reason for being here and how we can move beyond our wake-up calls. So just in the last several months, the, the new twist is we've added a section, if you will, of episodes, and, and they will be going on. They will be added on a regular basis and actually we're going to have more of these than we have interviews as we go forward of a series that we call Waking Up with Vince and Mary. And that series is all about reaching into our understanding of the universe, reaching into what we've learned and what we share through our programs, and giving people the tools that they need to understand that, yes, that wake up is a gift to you. And how do you take that gift and start moving forward? And then how can you navigate all the obstacles that, that come along the way? And we're doing that initially through the series, at just looking at the book, what we shared in the book and the different topics that are available there that are, are really the, shall we say, the backbone of Imagine Miracles and the Imagine Miracles programs but then also to bring more of the guidance that uh, I receive through the masters channeling through me and talking about the lessons that the masters share. So that new twist, the waking up, is going to give people more information to help them on their journey and a little less of the this is what everybody else is doing Let's let's move it from everybody else and let's move it to you. Yeah, love it. And that book is definitely an amazing chronicle of your transformation from the very first wake up call to where you are now. Pretty amazing. It is my pleasure to get to ask you a question that you've asked over 200 times. You always ask your guests to share a parting piece of guidance. What would you like to share with the imagination? Well, for those of you that have listened to the podcast over the years, you've probably hear, heard me say this in one way or the other in just about every single podcast. But I want to share that each and every one of us is unique. We're special in a way that no one else in this world is. And I think it's important for us to, one, be willing to accept that, but then two, be willing to find out where that uniqueness is and how you're meant to share it with the world. 
we're here, in my opinion, to put the puzzle of the universe together. And it takes each one of us as a piece of that puzzle to make it all happen. We're truly community animals. We're here to support each other. We're here to bring love to the world in a way that the whole world is coming from a place of no one getting left behind. And you have one of the keys to open the door for that to happen. It takes 8 billion keys to go into that door to open it up. So we are all here to help each other live our purposes and expand ourselves and expand the universe. That was truly beautiful. Thank you. Well, as we complete our 200th episode, I want to thank you for who you are, what you're bringing to humanity, your gentle power, which many of you that listen know that that is his quintessence, and how your energy wraps us all in love and hope. We want to offer each and every one of you something special. We want to have an opportunity to meet in each and every one of you and help you take that step on your journey. So we want to offer you a Your Life, Your Way breakthrough session with uh, Mary and I, just to give you an understanding of how to find your direction, how to get on your path, what might be getting in the way, and the best way to move beyond that. If you go to imaginemiracles.com forward slash I am ready, fill out the form. Let us know that you come from the podcast. Mary and I would love to have 20 to 30 minutes with you just to help you take that next step. I love that offer, Vince. And I look forward to our time together with each of you that will reach out to us so we can meet over Zoom. And I'm going to jump ahead and take your last closing words for this 200th episode and wish everyone a miracle day. You've completed this episode of The Miracle You, but we have plenty more to help you discover your own personal passion and purpose. Head over to themiracleyou.com for free resources to assist you on your journey, as well as register for our free webinar, Discover Your Miracle Life, Three Mind Awakening Steps Toward Your Unique Purpose, or apply for a one-on-one Your Life, Your Way breakthrough session and discover your next best step on your journey. All available exclusively on our website. That's themiracleyou.com. We look forward to sharing more experiences of passion, purpose, and life by design next time, right here on The Miracle You.